A California man was charged with murder after police accused him of fatal stabbing former Extreme Makeover Home Edition star Edward Oxall. Xol 58 was who was the singer and actor before appearing on seven seasons of Extreme Makeover called Palm Springs, California. Police early on the morning of September 10 saying that he needed help. When police arrived, they found Xol in an apartment suffering from multiple stab wounds, a spokesperson for the Palm Springs Police Department tells media was taken to hospital where he died on September 20, according to the Riverside County coroner. Bardo's soul is mourning an unimaginable loss. The actor's family confirms that Eduardo died September 20th after being previously stabbed in Palm Springs, California. Saying in a statement via his publicist to E! News September 25th, we are heartbroken at the tragic loss of our beloved Eduardo Soul. As his family, we know that his kindness has touched the lives of so many. We ask for that kindness return now, allowing our privacy to be respected as we process our grief. The statement concludes, In lieu of flowers, we ask that donations be made in Eduardo's name to the Lupus Foundation of America, as he spent so much of his life in the service of others. Local ABC News affiliate KESQ reports that Eduardo, who was a designer on Extreme Makeover Home Edition from 2004 to 2011, first called the police after being stabbed at a Palm Springs apartment complex September 10th. According to arrest records obtained by E! News, the suspect, Richard Joseph Gonzalez, was arrested and initially charged with attempted murder the same day. However, following the TV personality's death 10 days later, the charge has been upgraded to murder. It's currently unclear if Gonzalez has entered a plea with his next court date set for December 18th. E! News has reached out to his attorney for comment, but hasn't yet heard back. Meanwhile, Eduardo's Hollywood friends are sharing their condolences following his untimely passing. Extreme Makeover Home Edition host Ty Pennington pays tribute to his former co-worker, posting a picture of him and Eduardo to his Instagram story September 25th, writing, Devastated to hear about Eduardo's passing. Truly the most genuine, kind soul. Eduardo was 58 years old. The family of Eduardo's soul is mourning an unimaginable loss. The actor's family confirms that Eduardo died September 20th after being previously stabbed in Palm Springs, California. Saying in a statement via his publicist to E! News September 25th, We are heartbroken at the tragic loss of our beloved Eduardo Soul. As his family, we know that his kindness has touched the lives of so many. We ask for that kindness return now, allowing our privacy to be respected as we process our grief. The statement concludes, In lieu of flowers,